ladies and gentle boys, girls and people of all ages, we're going to do Rogue One level. Pretty satisfying. I agree. Um, we're going to try to do a stipulation here. We're going to see which one. If, if We're going we're gonna to look at the first few picks and see. Maybe the first pick and see if anything, uh, anything jives with the stipulations we got in the queue. I have a bunch of Pioneer decks as well, so... Oh, God, I'm going to hit return. Okay, cool. We got a Mox, boys. Return to the game. I'm going to take this Mox. One of the stipulations... We also have uh, Crutch Jr. Let's try not to let the opponent have any lands. As many ways as possible to take the opponent's mana away. That's also a real thing. Okay. Didn't want to forget that one. Um, We're definitely taking Mox Sapphire here. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be Mox. We just take the power. Put, 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 power. And let's see. So I said this before we started recording, but now that we're recording, I will say that uh, the first step is must take cards that say opponent first, target player second. Exceptions for mana, got to be able to cast spells. Spirit of the step is to mess with the opponents. I'm a nice guy, but I love a-hole magic. And that's from Hammerfoe. Amped Phil has little giants, spells, and anything in between that could become a spicy giant meatball at some point that could become large and good. Um, so I don't actually know I, I really need a clarification on that one it's just a very it's a very loosely worded one and then Hindlebrad has a red white low to the ground stipulation but I think he wants to be here for that so uh, being that we just took Mox Sapphire is there anything that says opponent here having to read all the cards to make sure they have they say target opponent I do like Tinker a lot here Yeah, but like the thing is, we're like we have a blue mox, so I'm not going to try to the 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 mana denial stipulation with a blue mox yet. I kind of just like Tinker. And now we get a signet of some sort. Right, there was an Armageddon in the first pack. Um. I don't know what's your what's your point right now, third string janitor. What are you saying right now? You're just saying random things. I kind of like Rakdos signet following this Tinker, or Golgari signet. This is a Grixis. This is a Sultai. I mean, I also just like Factor Fiction. This says an opponent separates those cards into two piles. We could still be. Could still be the opponent deck. Hmm. Grixis is probably more artifacty because of red, but green also has oak oak. I'm gonna take Signet. Oh well, let's take Metalworker. See, we could add a Tropical Island here. This does say target opponent. Are we doing it or not? That's my only question. Do we just do it? Let's just do it, right? But we could just wait to do it and have like a pretty sweet artifact deck too. Do it or not do it, guys. Do we just go artifact deck and, and save the stip for the next one? Oh wow. So two for artifact deck, one do it. Two do it. A yes doesn't answer the question when it's a what's a two part question. Artifact, artifact. Alright. Looks like artifacts are winning. And then we have nothing. But Glenlanger Archmage is a, is a real a real dude. A real lady. Not a big Mishra's Factory fan, even if it is an artifact, technically. Uh, repeal? Alright. These are drying up. Ooh, Boros Signet? I'll take a Boros Signet. It's not the Signet we want, but it's the Signet we need. Always play Elves? Nah, dude, that's like two Elves in this whole cube. <laughs> Jeez, typical Badgers.
Oh, Ponder's nice. Porcelain Legionnaire is also just fine. I mean, it's a Metal Worker hit. It's, uh, but I think Ponder's just a little bit stronger than Porcelain Legionnaire. Each pack has so much power that my brain goes Windows Era Blue Screen. Mark, is this your first cube, buddy? Come on. Uh, no love for balance because I don't have any desire to be white. I don't really love repeal by any means, but I just, I think I also undervalue balance, but that's just me. And, um, like, I, I have no desire to put white. Oh, Teferi. See, now, see, that's funny, because then I look at Teferi and I'm like, well, maybe I do want to play some white. Yeah, I think it's Teferi over Armageddon for sure. Oh, Academy Ruins came back, but the Mind Slaver hath been taken. No, you're not wrong. It might actually be great in the Artifact deck. No, you're totally... That is uh, not incorrect. Oh, Dennis, thanks so much for the restub, buddy. Welcome back. How goes the house hunt? Um, we're getting there. I think I'd actually just have Wear Tear, especially with Boros Signet and Arachnus Signet. I don't care about Academy Ruins. If we know the, the Mind Slaver is gone, then I ain't too concerned. Guys, let me ask you something. What's your experience with paying application fees for for like houses or apartments that you rent? And I ask this in the sense that like if I pay it, because in my experience, I've rented from two companies before. Uh, one is called Invitation Homes. One is called Tricon American Homes. Both are like national chains. Um, and if you pay the rental fee, the application fee, usually it means that um, no one is no one else is in the application process, right? Because if someone else is in the application process, they're usually not going to take your application fee until they figure out that person is not going to get it, right? Otherwise, they've otherwise they just get a bunch of free application fees when they know they've already going to rent it to someone, right? Like that's my experience. So, um, because I just paid a fifty dollar application fee for a house I'm looking at, and. Um, And like, I'm wondering, I'm like, it would suck if they took my $50 application fee, but then they end up giving the house to someone else, even if I'm qualified, because it's like, well, why are you taking my application if someone else is already in line to get it? You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Um, These are both double white. Let's go Sun... I think the potential upside of Sun... Our, our artifact deck kind of dried up, but our blue-white uh, mid-range goofy shit is, is doing good. Course of Portal... I don't think... So, like, I really hate Mishra's Workshop. We don't have application fees here, but I would think they would refund it if you didn't get it. Yeah, that's what I would think, too. I don't think I knew that application fees were a thing for rental houses. Yeah, well, they are. They definitely are. I'm a leasing agent over three years. We take application fees all the time, but we don't let them apply unless we have an available unit. Some other places have you apply and then find... Yeah, so it's just a one house. It's a single house, right? But if I'm applying to it, I would assume someone else isn't in, like, the final stages of the application process. You know what I mean? Sheldock Isle is great. Course of Portal is great. Control Magic is great. I think we're just taking the Course of Portal. Like, I really like Sheldock Isle, but I also think Course of Portal is probably better when we have uh, this artifact theme. Oh, Badger, this is actually super nice. Thank you for looking this up, man. I appreciate you, dude. Florida Housing safe, har safe Harbor for application fees is 85 per prospective adult tenant. Jesus, that's that seems like a lot. It's okay. It, you're safe because it's only $85. Uh, I like Snapcaster, but we're not a real Snapcaster deck right now. We also don't have anything to tinker into yet, so that's unfortunate. What's that one on, Zaxor? 
No, Spectral Links. Jake, that's been my experience as well. But, like... I just want to make sure, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to apply to this house and then be like, sorry, we're rented to someone else. And be like, all right, but I paid the fee, so. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor? What what pick is this? Fourth pick? This is seven, This is third pick? 15, 16, 17, 18? Wow, that's insane. All right, well, I guess we're just heavy. This is ridiculous. Just take Banishing Light. Mystical Tutor? What do you get? You get Tinker. Is that good? I don't know. It's not a thing here, too, and I have lived in a house built by my grandfather, so I've never had to deal with rent. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's pretty sweet, actually. I don't hate Sword of Body in mind. Especially if we get a uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Um, I do like Sword. Badger, for you, buddy, I'm going to take the Sword. Oh, I like Scarab God. Inkwell Leviathan is really what we want to be tinkering into, but Elspeth is so good. Do we think Inkwell is going to come back, guys? Do we just take Elspeth and Inkwell comes back? Is that is that a thing we can hope for? What if it doesn't, though? I think it's still worth it. I think Elspeth is just so good. Oh, Flooded Strand. Oh, it's a Stoneforge Mystic and a Flooded Strand? I think I'm taking Stoneforge, especially if we get a Batter Skull. Water included is included as well as not being paid. Yeah, I've always had to pay for water as well. Hollowed fountain? Perfect. Beautiful. Yep, let's take some fixin', boys. I really want, like, Batter Skull here. That'd be great. I'd also take a... We get to pay for the water and the calcium down here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. All the, uh, all the sweet minerals. Agent Cody Ganks, where you at? You in Maryland? Oh, Sphinx's Revelation? Boy, this is looking spicy. Can I get a Thran Dynamo? That would be sick. I mean, two Signets and uh, and a Mox here is not terrible. Oh, a new version of Stream Deck is available. Look at that beauty. The update adds deck functionality to your course to select Corsair keyboards. I have a I have a Logitech keyboard. still pretty sweet though oh I like a plateau monastery mentor could be decent here we have a lot of spells I think it's just path here dude I love the DC area if I could afford to live in the DC area for a reasonable yeah we'll just take Gideon here for a reasonable amount I would totally do it uh, I'm going to take Soulfire Grandmaster. I'm not a huge Moat fan right now, but if we get, like, Ancestral or Time Walk, this card becomes Bonker. Wow, we just become, like, more white than blue here. I actually never lived in Maryland. I wonder why that... I wonder... Cody Gangs, why did you think I lived in Maryland? I lived in Seattle. We did not open uh, Ancestral or Time Walk, guys. Yeah, I did actually get... Yeah, that's funny. That's probably why. Because I did a lot of content work for Bethesda. And I actually interviewed for Bethesda back in like 2005. Four or something like that. So I guess there are like loose connections to me and Bethesda. I'm going to take Treachery. Our two minutes run for 10, 1060 to 1400 in the air. Um, yeah, that's pretty close. 
Vendillion click is nice. I don't think it's Verdant Catacombs with our... Man, it sucks that we're not getting that Flood Strand back. Um, Jake, I'm really surprised you went to Seattle and didn't say hi for me. That's actually pretty rude, dude. You think you know a guy and then he doesn't say... Oh, the also the Inkwell Leviathan did not come back, which sucks. It sucks. I'm going to take Mox Diamond because Mox Diamond is juicy. Man, we have nothing to get with Crucible of Worlds, so I don't think it's Crucible of Worlds. Winds of Abandon is actually real nice. Uh, I have visited Bethesda, yeah. I went there to interview. Like, they flew me out. It was pretty awesome. Um, do I have any other connections? I went to, I, I've gone to DC countless times. I went to Baltimore recently, so. I'm just going to take Winds of Abandon here. This is 25 cards, huh? I don't think we're tinkering right now. It's really sad. This deck has a lot of spice, though. I think, you know, it gets to a point where, like, I feel like I'm getting a little too lucky with my grindy mid-range decks, so. Oh, yeah, looking up prices of apartments in Seattle. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. I don't even know if I'd want a cryptic because our mana is just not good enough for a cryptic. Like neither of our signets are blue. If we get an Azorius signet, maybe, but we literally have to have like island, island, island planes, which is pretty rough. Celestia signet, you also suck. I don't hate containment priest for the sideboard, but I'm not really on sacred foundry or Celestia signet here. I mean, I'm probably not on Rakdos Signet either, based on our mana. Jeez. Where's the blue? Where's the blue white lands, guys? Oh, uh, I forgot who that was that was offering to help Mike find a job, but like they never actually sent the information. Yeah, I'll just take Spear. It's fine, Mark. I'm not like super thrilled about it. I'll just take Days. I went to Baltimore. Uh, Katie had a veterinarian uh, like meeting there, like a like a seminar thing. So I went with her to that. She, I mean, I didn't go to it with with her. Like she was going to Baltimore for that. I went to Baltimore with her, and we both kind of just hung out while we were there. So. Freaking scrublands, man. I don't even like Stoneforge now that we just have Sword of Body in mind. God, we've gotten so many good lands, but none of them are for us. This deck fell off the rails, and I, I apologize for it, guys. Another Godless Shrine? Holy smokes, man. We've seen, like, Scrubland... Um... Yeah, like, Unbarrel Arch isn't even good here. Just take Elspeth. Jeez. Yeah, we've seen Scrubland, Shambling Vent, and Godless Shrine. So, like, our Black Splash would have been fantastic, but... Look, there's the Shambling Vent. Like, our Mardu mana base is great, because we have Boros Signet, Mardu Signet, Shambling Vent, Bitter Blossom, Sacred Foundry, like... <laughs> that's ridiculous. So we need three cuts here. I don't know if we're a Metalworker deck anymore. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts. 
metal metal worker, you suck. Yeah, our mana base is a little rough, but we have no triple triple cost cards. I don't think I want dig here. Uh, Soulfire Grandmaster doesn't do anything for us, and I'll probably take out the oh the O stones got to go. But now we have even fewer artifacts. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. It's just not enough artifacts. Metalworker's got to go, unfortunately. There's not just one stone forge, just as a thing to carry. Well, it was more than face fetters because we already had Oblivion Ring and Path and Winds, but I, I can see face fetters being good here. I am a, I'm a little reluctant to keep adding four drops, but that's fine. Um, actually, hold on. No, Mox Diamond's going to be our twenty fourth card because I don't want that as a land. Seven eight, is that correct? Probably. Yeah, because we already have the Mox too, so so it's basically eight eight Hollowed Fountain and, and Mox Diamond. I've been on three phone system training calls in a row, going on three hours of this nonsense, so I'm watching this on mute in the background. Thanks for being entertained. Also, I don't know what else to do with my channel points. I think that's that's most people, right? Like you just you just have you just have fun with them, you know? You just have a good time. Alright, well, we'll see if this deck is good or trash. Yeah, we'll keep this. I got my Santa Hat Pikachu and now I can't give the points away. Yeah, but the Santa Hat Pikachu is life. Hopefully we can uh, draw something. I mean, sometimes I play Mox Diamond that turn, so if they play a 2-drop, we can bounce it. Yeah, see, this is what I was afraid of. But I also didn't want to just expose the Mox Diamond, so... I guess we can also just do it this turn. And then next turn we can surprise them with the Bane Slayer Angel. I like that. Thank you. Soul Vice, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Or the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I'll get you, I'll be waiting. Don't daze me, bro. You did not. I drew a card you have to replay. That Luterial Core. That Luterial Core. Ooh, that's interesting. That might be better than Bane Slayer here. Kapow. Do not daze me. Yeah, I've been ignoring these, but I have so many points and say so little I could probably talk exclusively and hide it out of messages. Wow, that is, that is aggressive. I have enough left to highlight six more messages. Too bad I don't really have anything important to say. <laughs> All right, well, that is something. Discarded that swelter and sons. Big swelts. Hey Tony. Oblivion stone. I mean, that's pretty rough, right? If we have any intention of playing Baneslayer next turn, like 
Get it on. Going on down to Rat Train. Get him. Get him. Get him. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Oh man, Bane Slayer with an Elspeth plus three, plus three. Boy, that's not. Whew. That's not a fair interaction. No blocks. Cause he got shadow. Yawn City. God, it's so it's so weird. It's like six o'clock. It's totally dark out. Oh, I got to hit okay. That's cool. I thought that version of Pikachu looked like he was uh, picking his nose. Oh, the old double sunglasses Neo. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Factor Fiction? Jeez. Thunder My Hellkite? Glorbringer? Oh, boy. Well, that's unfortunate. Going on down the rat train. Have you ever been outside and called on the rat train? I have. Oh dear God. Look at that flat ass Pikachu. Don't tell Thwok I'm here. I would never do that. Jesus, God. I don't even know what's happening right now. Alright, well. Let's keep on getting in there with this Bonnet Slayato. Six, seven... What's that you said? I drew, I drew two spells after the Plague Glalange Archmage? That's true. I did. Send him on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside? Called on the Rat Train. Surprised outdoor Pikachu lifting his sunglasses for a better look. <laughs> Jesus. You guys are fantastic. If I play this, what happens? She gone. I don't want to play another because if they have like days, then they actually get to resolve a spell, so. Oh, are you doing a thing? Lightning Helix on Milady. And if I counter it, they don't gain three, right? So. Thirst? Hmm. I would not have countered that. Wow, now I just get to play like Elspeth. That's pretty cool. I think Elspeth might be better than Coercive Portal here. Oh wow, that's crazy. Is it Elspeth or is it Course of Portal? <sighs> Course of Portal opens itself up to artifact removal, which they could have, as they're a red deck. Elspeth is also just a just a win a win con on board.
Torrential Gear Hulk. All right. Well, that's a thing. No attack with Galenalendra, which means they're probably not having an answer to uh, the Elspeth, right? Or else they would have just killed the Elspeth and been done with it. I'm hitting the button. There you go. Going on down the rat train. I wish this stupid rat train song wasn't just stuck in my head constantly. My roommate overheard flat ass Pikachu and imagined a Pikachu with no ass. I mean, that's correct. Oh, that's interesting. So we can actually just play this first, right? Because if they want to counter it, they have to get rid of this. If they make a copy and counter it, then they have no blocker. <laughs> so it resolves. Great. All right, so we know they're splinter twinning, which is sad. God, this guy's looked at a lot of cards from this one looter. Looty McTooty. Stop pitching lands! God! Let's name Homage. You gonna get rid of my Baneslayer? Oh, dang. Dislike. Post combat zealous conscripts? What? Wait, what is happening? What the f what? What? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. What just happened? What the fuck? I have a confuse. <laughs> oh, we got a big fat oops in the chat, and that's pretty cool. I mean, it's funny because they can't counter this or else they lose, so... Going up down a rat train. Have you ever been outside? So if I kill this, they have to sacrifice this. Is that is that true? Which means they have this guy, so they'll have to have, like, Kiki-Jiki Mountain. Um. Hmm. I mean, they can counter it, then they have a blocker, right? But then they have to have Kiki-Jiki Mountain, and they have two cards. Kiki-Jiki Mountain, is it worth it? I think it is. I think it's worth taking this risk. Hmm. It seems like it was. Going on down to Red Train. Did we disenchant? 
or yeah, we'll bring a disenchant. Actually, wear tear is just better, right? We don't care about their artifacts. Maybe we bring them both. Right, but it doesn't matter if they hit the conscripts because the conscripts can't block Baneslayer Angels, so the conscripts doesn't give us a win on the board. Like, if we if we pat the conscripts, they're just like, okay, cool, and then I'll block the Baneslayer and they don't die. Getting rid of the Glenlinger Archmage actually forces them to counter it. How you gonna spell my name two different ways? You spell it L E P O R E up here, and then you spell it L A P O R E down here. How are you gonna act? Yeah, conscripts and twin wins, but they had they had twin on the Belenlinger Archmage. What are you guys saying right now? Take wallet, I guess. I feel like you guys are being real confusing right now. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It's not great. This is not much better, but it's something. <sighs> Keep. If we can draw Mox Sapphire Boros Charm, I'd be okay with it. Booty, 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 booty. All right, well, Boros Charm? You gonna, you gonna hit my land? Is this how you're gonna be? Well, it's as rude as you can be, I guess. Going on down to chat train. Man again, huh? Real original, buddy. Oh, big tretch. Another five drop to go with our five drop dot deck. If we can just go treachery into here and tap, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, that's a cool dude. Having a good time. Oh boy, this has been a game so far. Well, where am I disenchant at? Hey, it's a Boros Signeta. Hey, that's pretty good. Whoa, get him! Get him! Oh, look who it is. Look who it is.
Do they just go, well, they can't kill us because it doesn't have haste, so. Yep. Wow, strip mine. That's brutal. Yep, that's pretty good. Tap down the other blue. Cool. I'm having a good time. I mean, I'll give it one more turn, but... I guess one more turn does get us to tuck a Johnny if they just don't have anything, but... They don't have a second red. They have two cards in hand? Not terrible. We lose Teferi. It kind of sucks, but... I mean, otherwise we lose all our lands, so... Not really... An alternative, so... Jesus Christ, come on. Seriously? Johnny Biggentals, I hope you get it, man. I hope you get this job. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, they're just going to tuck, right? So I guess we want to try to find some answer. Can we play a land this turn? No. Interesting. So let's go Bane Slayer on top. So we'll put Path and then Bane Slayer. All right. Living the dream. Any Portland, Oregon Bobers know of any jobs I could look into? I do not, but I am not a Portland, Oregon Bober. I'm a Florida Bober. So they got one, two, Pestermite. A Johnny. Seems good. Here, can you tap that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, actually, this is pretty decent.
Oh, we just get to kill the, the Teferi? That's huge. A scrubber is a bober dad. So scrubbers and bobers are just some nonsense that Mike B said one day, and uh, they just became they they became Frank Stream Cannon. So yeah, it's it's a whole thing. Go on, Alendra. I don't care about that. I kind of do, I guess. It's annoying. So now they're going to draw Pestermite next, right? Berzorpals, my dude. Yeah, like Bazorpals, yeah, 100%. 100% like... <laughs> oh, Lord. I wonder if we attack and path this. It's hard to say. Interesting. Uh, create a 1-1. One, one. How about this? You like this? Oh, that resolved? Well, unfortunately, Johnny is going to tap her down regardless. So we'll just put on this guy. <clears throat> wow, that's surprising. Man, it's always, like, you hear the bad stories about working at Amazon, but then, like, it's so funny when you actually have people who have actually been working there for three and a half years, and you're like, oh, geez. So it's, so it's real. Ooh, no attacks. Pester me, Tay. do 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 Pester me, is living in the trash can. So I kind of buff both these dudes. Then they they can only tap one. Target tickets. I can just attack a Johnny with this guy, right? We know one of their cards is a Pestermite. A Johnny. Your face. Brutal. Brutal. All right, so now we just need to get Pester Mine. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. So Jamaican bump slip team. Counting my last few weeks there, dude. We'll snipe for food. I wish you luck, buddy. Not only in the postgraduate job hunt, but in surviving. What? Oh man, they're just they're just murdering my boys. Oh, that's interesting.
Oh. I see. Well. That is something. That is something. Nope, don't like that. Yep, alright. Jesus, that sucks. Wow, that just happened to be their last card, other than... Wow, other than friggin' Pestermite, that's amazing. Oh wow, they just F6 there? They didn't even... Interesting. So you're tapped out. You can't tap this guy. Better tap my Bane Slayer Angel. Also, oops. Man. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I'm just going to attack their face and get in a guy and. Like, they're in top deck mode now. Past in flames. Shit, that's actually pretty scary, right? One, two, three, four, five. It gives them four extra mana. So they can, like, lightning helix. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. Brand new life around the bend. Say it's like a one card here. I guess they can pass in flames to factor fiction. Oh, good games. Good games. Wow, they stole our Elspeth and ultimated, and then we got to uh, kill them with a sword of body and mind, guys. Never sleep on them swords. They're real good. Nice. That was a that was a weird game, man. That was a weird ass game. Is it a one lander? Nope, don't like that. Okay. Uh I think I like Elspeth over Sun Titan here, so we'll get rid of the Sun Sun Toodles. I mean, Signet Taffery. All right. Keylocker, what's up, my dude? Was it a weird It was a weird game. It was a weird game. It felt very back and forth. Uh, let's get a draw. That deck was trash. Which one, yours or mine? I can't tell. That's a real aggressive thing to say. You can be mine. Duretti. All right, it's fine. I'll just kill it. I thought your deck seemed fine, um, but I'm also much more I'm much more liberal with with what I think is a fine deck in cube. I think people overrate cube decks, or like underestimate cube decks. I guess because like a lot of people are like, oh man, your deck doesn't have the most broken shit you can do. Your deck sucks. But like most of my wins come from like mid range decks, where I like have a lot of interaction. Um, I'm just gonna take like it's probably Glorybringer here, right? Like, we can just kill the Duretti next turn if they play it. No, we can't. We can put it to one, and then they'd kill our guy. Let's take Duretti. So one, two, three, four, five, sure.
That was my last 100 play points. Bless my heart. <laughs> oh, you sweet child. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, not that you don't have any more play points, but the fact, the way you said it, that's the funny part. That's where the comedy is. These are four of the five cards we know about. Faithless Looting is interesting here because, like. What do you discard, man? What 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 do you even discard, eh? This is a tough choice. I'm waiting. I want to see my match from your perspective at some point. Do you know? Yeah, I always upload all my matches, all my all my drafts to YouTube. Or you can just check the VOD whenever we're done. But I feel like the VOD is more inconvenient because it's like you have to like scroll through it. You have to find the right one from that day. Hold on, let me see if I can get it for you. If you're really interested... Oh, they're just going to reanimate that guy. That's pretty cool. But it was not cool. What else did they discard? Dark Petition and Glory Bear? Sure. So then you can probably play Ritual. You're going to do some more bullshit? What? Are you going to play Tasker now? Wow, that's impressive. This is a friggin' good turn, man. Congratulations. Um, okay, so we have 36, 37, 38. 30. This would be draft 39. If, it, if that helps. So... No, I turned it off because I open I open windows and I don't want them to just open up in front of uh you know, whatever we're doing here. I think we're just dead now. Jesus. I had a family. Well, at least we keep the white source. Okay, so next time we take eight. I'm going to go to the next game. I, I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? Still tapping my mana. Okay. Let's bring in Faith's Fetters. Because that's a card. Let's take out Wall of Omens. Oh, boy. That's a thing. That's uh, Yikes. No, I was 2 0. I don't think it I don't think it worries too much about that. I guess I actually like containment priest here. I'm gonna submit with the priest just in case we don't have a time to take something out, which I don't think we're going to. Because I'll just play 41. Okay, cool. Um yeah, you know I'll keep it. You know I will. That's how I roll. Do 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 do. I mean, in the main deck, we already have a Blade Ring and Face Fetter, so I'm not too concerned with getting rid of a, a really obscure, like, Animate Dead or Necromancy. Like, if that happens, like, we have answers for the creature they get back already, so I'm not... I don't want to bring in a card that might be dead. If we see those things, I'll bring it in, but we already have answers that are guaranteed to hit the, the things they do, so... Is this turn two? Oh. Yeah. No, don't do, don't do that. 
Yeah, that would be sad if he did that. Call the glass doctor, he'll fix your pain. As you two are going to sort yourself out, I have no idea. I'm just going to... Doretti. Doretti. Mom Spaghetti. Oh, no, don't do that. You on you. Let's get rid of them. Oh, they took it. Really hoping to dodge a reanimate here, I think. Sure. I'm to Torok. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I think we're losing this match because all we have going on is Elspeth here. Hazaret, sure. Land? Oh, I'm just going to play land here. Maybe we're not losing? I don't know. Did they just metamorph their own mocks? Interesting. Host Mike and chat Mike. What's going on, Muppet? I mean, the only thing I can assume here is that they have Glorybringer. One, two, three. No, they would have had mana for that. It's Hardcast Grave Titan? Massacre, fuck me. Oh, Jesus. Sure. Uh, homage. Cast. Discard planes. Blue, one, two, three. This guy. I think we're just going to make three here. We can take one more hit. Also, negative seven is insane next turn, so if they don't actually have a way to kill Elspeth. And we have Glenelg Archmage, so I'm not too concerned with it. Uh, we are currently 4-0 in games, in matches. Oh, good. This is just a fat daddy. Yep, that's actually fine. We have Elspeth, so I'm not, like, super concerned with that either. Are they just dead? We just negative seven Elspeth and kill them, right? Like, we'll just block with the, the Glenlendra. And then it's, what, 3, 6, 12, 15? Sure. And if they have Lightning Bolt, they have to help us by the it, but... Oh, they can attack with Hazaret, too, I guess. Since that is the case... We're just double blocking here. Yeah, we'll go to eight, unfortunately, but I think we're still fine here. What up, the Chaos Theory? Huh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we're just negative threeing. Gets rid of these two. Is that good enough though? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not gonna do it. Path is good though. <laughs> the 
problem is they have a ton of dudes. We have to get rid of Grave Titan and Massacre Worm, I think. But then, like, Hazard just dies, right? Like, we get to kill clear out all three of these guys. Uh, no, it's definitely kill. I got rid of it now because I don't want them to be able to discard, like, two cards. Like, whatever they draw or, like, whatever they have in hand in order to deal us two more, so... <clears throat> Yeah, we can easily just block chump block one and Elspeth can go to two, and I think I think it's more important to have like just multiple guys on the board with Path and plus? That seems pretty rough. Like what are we what are we pathing? Like because we're not gonna be able to double block the both the zombies and the Grave Titan, which makes two more guys, and the Hazaret slash Massacre Worm, whichever one we don't kill. And if we get rid of Massacre Worm, we're only chumping Hazaret. Yeah, path plus pathing and plusing seems seems rough mm. search for a library for a card put it in your hand like if they just got a creature like Are you a pirate? Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Yep, two at Elspeth. I just feel like we're way ahead here still. <laughs> Mono Elspeth control. Tack your face. Alexa, are you a pirate? Don't hang the jib, buckle. Instead, fill ye nipperkin with some grog. Ask me for some pirate jokes, and I'll try to make ye laugh handsomely. I guess so. Look at all these Elspeths we got, man. We got Elspeths for days. <laughs> so I want to say a pirate's favorite letter is R, but I feel like that joke is actually, I feel like there's a different answer. Is it different? It's C, oh geez, see, I knew it, I knew it, dude. It's so funny because R is like the, you're like, oh, it's R, but then it's like, oh, wait, that's just the trap. Makeums, make dudums, and plus over here and just keep attacking for four I guess why did they metamorph this mox jet that's so weird I mean I'm pretty okay with having uh, Glenelyn Jar Trench on board with Winds of Abandon and Oblivion Ring so you be thinking that but it's the sea wow I can't believe we won this game that's crazy man we're good at Magic the Gathering. See, now I'll bring in Disenchant or Wear Tear because they have mm, lots of things. Sort of body and mind seems rough. I actually don't want to be giving them. Here's a bunch of things for your graveyard. 
41 is greater than 40. God, everyone is like, you better, you better cut down to 40. Like, oh, Jesus. Cracks me up every time, man. <laughs> you can still do it. No, I'm good. I appreciate 41. God, these one land hands are rough, dude. Don't say there's Frank in the world. Would it be, would it be, uh, would Frankenstein count? Frank Sinatra is probably also a pretty, uh, pretty high up there. Um, uh, Mulligan. Oh yeah, I'll keep it. Um, let's send. So I'll go over it again because I have a I have a, a theory about it, um, about you know forty one versus forty. Like the reason you want to play forty cards in a limited deck is because there's always going to be a best card. You find your worst card and you take that card out because it gives you a higher percentage of drawing your best cards. But in a format like cube or even in regular draft, like I don't have a problem doing it in regular draft either. Um, it's not like constructed where you have like, I'm going to play four Oko. I'm going to play four, uh, once upon a time. And they're all good. They're all my best cards. Right. Um, and you have multiples of them. Like there's a situation where like in, I just want to, let me figure out this, this mulligan decision first. I'll get rid of Gideon. I think <clears throat> there's, there's situations in cube where like, I have one acidic slime in my deck. I have one Glenelendra Archmage in my deck. So, like, there's there's a bunch of cards. Like, every card has a purpose. Oh. Oh, that's really sad. Right? So, it gets to a point where, like, there is no necessarily worst card. They're just different, right? They all do different things. Like, if I cut face fetters, then I might not have that ability. The ability to, to, to face fetter something. Wow, Inquisition taking my Mox Sapphire is pretty brutal. I don't hate these. Um, no, I'll keep it. All right. Okay. Can you explain it again, but as a wrap? Uh, I don't think so. But maybe. But probably not. Wow, they didn't just slam Glorbringer there? That's crazy. Well, I don't have any counter spells, so I'm just going to play this, and if you want to kill it, that's okay, I guess. How do I donate? There's a button. There's a button you can press. It's called the donate button. I think we just wait a turn, right? Oh, dang it. Don't use that, though. How do I get the stream elements? Boot... Is it kick? I don't know how to get rid of this bot. gonna do this. Draw card. Oh, do we play land? We did not. And we can block here. We can also repeal one of these one of these jabronis. Yep, that's fine. Buddy. Listen. <clears throat> if 
if you want to keep Teferi up that that high high. I can put Tef to one. That's fine. I could ban them, but I feel weird about that, right? I guess I could. Um, Do I care about this? I mean, I might as well get rid of this, right? Because otherwise they just sack an art. They sack their mocks to kill our Glenelanger Archmage and they keep a guy on board, so. Whatever. They have two cards in hand and we have a Teferi and we're going to Winds of Abandon here. Oh, Jesus. God, I hope my opponent doesn't have a family. Well, that's all the lands they're getting, but we'll manage. Stream elements. I'm just trying to get stream elements out of the chat. Remove. Bot. One, two. I mean, I assume they're just going to hard cast Gristlebrand here. Stream on this dashboard page. Oh, that's too bad. All right, well, that's not bad if that's one of your two cards. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, well. All right, hold on. I'm going to log in. Uh, where's the part channel? The bot is currently not in your chat? Yeah, it is. Well, that's unfortunate. Fuck. God damn it, that's annoying. Jeez. It's real dumb. Yep. Oh, cool. Must be nice. I guess we're just... <laughs> Alright, sure. You know what? Magic, you're a kind soul. Top deck city! I'll block. That's crazy. That's just crazy. You belong to Top Deck City. Man, Brett's like, I'm just going to ban it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll just get rid of it for you. Yikes. Do we just win this game? Holy crap. Cause you belong to the night. Well, I guess we I guess Glorybringer is pretty sweet. Man, the exact turn we were gonna ultimate, they they happen to just find a hasty threat. I guess that does it. Yep. Must be, as the kids say. Um, we could just kill it. That feels worse than just making three more guys, though. Especially when they're at six. They're gonna kill one, huh? Okay. Yep, you got it. All right. So, wow. Wow. This 
so you go block block um hmm Um, I don't actually know how long it takes for tips to show up. Like, I'm wondering... I hope you didn't use the stream elements one, because I don't actually know how to get that. That's why I didn't want stream elements in the chat, because they're two different, like, systems. Uh. Oh, you did. <laughs> Can you explain which Golden Girl is your favorite and why? <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, they have one card in hand, right? Like, we can just snap and bounce this guy. Like, what's... One... So, five. We could draw four, or we can draw one. And we'll just repeal. I like repeal better here. Alright, well. They have to have two removal spells, and I don't think they're going to, so... Oh, wow. That's... That's funny against them. I don't want to swing first because if they block and have a removal spell, I guess they still take six, right? It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just going to be safe. Like, Okay. 2-0 again with our mid rangey deck. Do <sighs> it's aggressive. Y'all yeah, take it. It's slow, but course of portal and path should uh get her done fast bond well biscuits that's something right there what the why would you play that now instead of like next turn when you get it your land drop. That's interesting. People, people, the way people use fast bond is always so funny to me. What? Like, if they don't have another land, if they don't have a fourth land, why didn't they just wait to play their land on the next turn? And then they didn't take damage. Like, it's so weird to me, right? I don't understand. Gotta go fast. You do have to go fast, I guess. Well, this is where they go land Primeval Titan, right? I'm ready for it. Uh, okay. That's annoying. Well, we're definitely bringing in both Wear Tear and the other one. Yeah, we're shuffling this. All right. Well, uh, sure. <laughs> what? Um, You know what? You can have these two. Right? No, I'll give you these two. Sure. Man, Winter Orb into Tap Out for Factor Fiction is interesting.
God, Winterarm is such a piece of shit card. Forest. <clears throat> Forest. Island. Devoted Druid. Done. <laughs> so I threw a coconut at his face. See, that's funny. That's a solid dad joke. I'm just going to play Elspeth next turn and hope they don't have an answer for it, I guess. They have kept up two mana the entire game, so. Oh. Uh. Yeah, Wind Winds of Abandon and Path are much better against their Winter Orb. It's like, well, just add it to the tapped pile, my dude. See you later. This feels good, because now they get to untap one land. So, I mean, I guess they still have one, two, three, four, five, but... You got it. So they can't pay the... <laughs> I guess they can. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess they can. Oh, boy. Do we play this? Like, if we, if we tap out... We don't have an extra land, right? So we're going to get a three land next turn. If we tap out for this and untap, we have two land, but... We could actually just exile this. I mean, I feel like we just win if they do that, because they don't have opposition in any reasonable time frame. I mean, we're not going to be able to kick this, right? So, like, getting rid of the... that Like, they could sort of two green. Which means they have to get rid of this guy. <clears throat> Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever gone outside? I'm just going to attack with four. If they do have opposition, like, and they play it, I'd rather get some guys off the board. So, And we still have 15 damage here if we plus Elspeth next turn. So maybe we should have actually attacked with fewer. But I still think we're okay. So I'm not going to really worry about it too much. Wow, I feel like their winner really fucked them. <laughs> I mean... Oh, alright, cool. Red mana. You got five on it. I don't know what kills an Elspeth with. Lumbering Forest, Power Stone, Mox Ruby, and nothing else on board. Uh, Treachery seems great, but I think we're like four turns away from casting it. So 
send them on down to Rat Train. And we won that game. Okay. Well, that was something. Let's bring in Disenchant. And this one. We'll bring in Sacred Foundry for planes. Cut one thing. Blue-green against the blue-green deck? Yeah, we'll definitely keep that sword in here. Take out Wall of Omens. Wall of Omens keeps getting cut. I think the rat train only exists in Chicago. Is that true? Dig's all right. I just don't think we're filling up our graveyard that quickly. Plus, we have a lot of card advantage as it is. Oh, God. The 41 deck again. Here we go. Uh, yes, 41 cards. I will keep. Also, the other problem with fast spawn is that, like, it gets substantially worse, like, the more you mulligan. Forty-two, you know, cause chromosomes. Sure. Wow, they played why would you play it before playing your land? That's crazy, dude. What a risky biscuit. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah. I mean, we could have easily worn torn, worn and torn that, but uh, I'd rather save wear tear because it's unlikely we might be able to daze something else, so. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, I think you just play Elspeth here. Make a guy. Blocky, blocky. They have two cards in hand. They have one card in hand. Oh shit! Well, that's some. That's something. Here we go. Let's see what your last card is. Oh, well. God, I'd kill for a path right now. Instead, they get to draw two. Okay, we're doing it. Living the dream. Kill for a land right now. Yep. Get that thing out of here. God, treachery would have also been insane. Any any land and we're just like floating. Floating on down a rat train. I mean, we've already got Opposition Channel and, and Consecrated Sphinx taken care of, so that's good. <coughs> Plus, if they get rid of the Oblivion Ring, we still have Sun Titan to potentially get it back if we hit a land. Boop, 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 
But then we never saw land again. God, Zach, sir, you know it's true. Well, biscuits. Just hope they don't have counterspell for this again. Oh man, they do. They're a cryptic command it. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh dang. Well, that seems good. <laughs> Lock it away, boys. Send them on down to Rat Train. Gotta go. Time to play Modern Pioneer with friends. Mark, have a great night, buddy. Thanks so much for the support. Really appreciate it, my dude. Always good seeing you, buddy. Good luck in Modern and Pioneer. Try not to see too many Okos in your modern in your modern matches. Oh. I see. Did they play a land this turn? No, of course they didn't. Sigh. Don't want that land. <sighs> What's that you say? Two six drops, huh? Well, this Elspeth's probably dead. Block, block. Takes one, two, three, four, six, seven. Six if they don't have a land. Let's be honest. They always have it. Oh, 11 secret herbs and spices. What's going on, my dude? Guess who got free Amazon Prime within yourself? Is it you? Is it you? Uh, I mean, this is not close to being uncountered, so I guess we'll just counter it. Love it. Love it. And this is where they're like, this is the one I wanted to resolve. Oh, God, is it going to be Edric? Oh, fucking Edric. <sighs> Eye roll. Draw six. Oh, yeah, this is this is beautiful. It had to be you, huh? I mean, we missed two land, three land drops. So, what are you gonna do? Felt like we were great. Felt like we were doing so good. They had like no cards in hand, but then they had an Avenger and a land. Thank you. Oh, love and crafty 12 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Are they all just these two? All right, I guess I'll just chump one of them. Sure. Draw a million. I don't know how we actually get past this, my guys. Oh man, maybe we say homage and then they're like, all right, I'll get my consecrated Sphinx back and I'll draw two. And I'll be like, oh shoot. <sighs> Boy. Not ideal. Not great, Bob. Oh, a little mo oh, you got mocks too. Okay. What are we board wiping with? Uh, 
Well, we did hit a land, so we can make five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. So then we only take. They can only they can only attack us with forty guys after that. Oh boy, make so many dudes. One, two, three, four. We take two, four, six, eight, ten. I would love to send the plants on down to the rat train, but... Yeah, all right. You got it, my dude. You got it. Spear. Oblivion Stone might actually be decent here, actually. How many actually is that? Might actually be decent here, actually. Cut Repeal. Ew. This hand is terrible. This is not much better, but we'll keep it and ship the rev. Ugh. Man, I got two moxes in a in a in a signet. Like, what's with these hands? Here we go again. All right. Nope. All right. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just chat? What? Oh, I guess you have to do that. Sure. Are we just dead here? To some nonsense. They just have... Yeah, they just have Ulamog Channel fast spawn three forests as their hand. Vintage Cube is a hell of a format, man. Yeah. It doesn't, like, losing to that doesn't actually bother me. It's the fact that I lost to that to someone who was not playing very well. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankreport, patreon.com slash frankreport, coolstuffinc.com, manitraders.com. Awesome subscription service. 20% off your first three months with the promo code and the link in the description. So check those out. And a new article every week, every Wednesday at CoolStuffInc.com. Check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.